Hi, I'm Eric Anderson. I'm a field crops educator with Michigan State University Extension. It's early July and I'm here in a field in St. Joseph County in southwest Michigan that has been planted to extend soybean as part of a local weed control demonstration project funded by the Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee. Soils in this area are generally either loamy sand or, as in this field, sandy loam. This field has a number of weed species, but the primary one is horseweed, also known as mare's tail. The weed pressure in this field has been very high in the past, as can be seen by this picture, taken in May of a small area that was missed by the sprayer. The burn down, including glyphosate and 2,4-D, was applied mid-April. Here are pictures of another miss in a different part of the field taken in June. You can see that the mare's tail is prevalent and has grown as tall as 12 inches. Half of the plots in this project were tilled prior to planting while the other half, along with the remainder of the field, was no-till. The treatments in the demonstration include a post-emergence application of glyphosate, glyphosate plus a registered dicamba product, or glyphosate plus dicamba plus acetochlor plus fomosafen. A non-treated check strip was included in each tillage block and each herbicide treatment was replicated three times. The treatments were applied on June 21st when soybeans were around V3 to V4 and mare's tail was up to 5 inches tall. These pictures were taken 11 days after treatment. The mare's tail in the non-treated strips is approximately 6 inches tall. Here in a plot receiving glyphosate alone, some of the mare's tail appears to have been stunted slightly but will likely grow out of it. In a plot receiving glyphosate and dicamba, the mare's tail is showing signs of auxin injury, including twisting and chlorosis. Here in a plot receiving glyphosate and dicamba and acetochlor and fomosafen, the mare's tail looks similar. We'll see what level of control we have as the season goes on. In this area, we assume that mare's tail is ALS and glyphosate resistant, so it is critical that timely applications are made of effective herbicides. Using a trait technology like Extend or Liberty Link opens up more effective in-season herbicide options and including herbicides with residual activity will help to ensure season-long control. Thanks again to the Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee for funding this project and thank you for watching.